It's Sonya, and look, I got a guest with me today. Who is this man? Do you even know who he is? Look at that, that grin on his face. He's probably up to something. You're up to something in the kitchen, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I figured that. So, can you believe it, guys? We are on the other side of Christmas, and I got back at the shop today. I was opening some Christmas cards and some things that I got. I'm gonna catch up with Matt in just a second. I had sweet Diane Stein uh, send me in this. She says, thank you for all you do. It's been a great year in the monkey business group. Shout out to my friend, Diane Stein of Eclectic Beauty Studio. If you're watching, girl, thank you for the card that you sent in. She's referring to my coaching services. I have a group called Monkey Business Creative Coaching where I love to mentor other creatives who are just designing a future that they want. If you want more information, I'll put the link below. Um, but right now it's currently open. She says, I look forward to this next year and continue to grow my business. Listen, girl, I bet you 2019 with the way you've been rocking and rolling and all those big leaps that you've been taking will be an amazing year for you. So just watch. I will be watching for sure. All right, this next package I got, it says, Merry Christmas from your favorite Texas gang. Now, Kinda, I kind of know who this might be from, right? My friend Claire Nicole, she's crafty too. If you've been following my vlog from this summer, I vlogged this summer when I went to visit her and she opened up her creator's clubhouse over there. And so let me see what Claire has sent me. Oh, look, there's socks. Okay, there's socks. Let me just see here. I gotta read the note and see what's going down here, all right? She wrote me a big old love note, Clara. It says Matt and Sonia. Oh my goodness, let's see here. She says the socks reminded her of splats of paint with berry dance, sunshine yellow, tail river, bomb, and jade. Oh my gosh. And he says, oh, she says, I'm sure Matt would love the camel socks because, hoorah! Did I say that right? Probably not. Hoorah! Is that right? That's terrible? Th did I say that wrong? What? It's a Marine Corps thing. All right, yeah, I don't get it. I wasn't in the Marine Corps. All right, so she says, these are for him unless he shares with you. <laughs> Anybody else at our house, um, you know what? Uh, socks always go missing, but these are super cute. I love these retro. I'm pretty sure I have pants or a shirt like that before. They go, yeah, they go, we have an 18 year old as well. And we are, all of our feet are pretty much what? The same size or we fit in the same size range of socks? Yes, he is. Look at these, Matt, babe, you got some new Vans, socks, they're gorgeous. Thank you, Clara, thank you, thank you. She says, I thought this shirt was perfect because I know you love, what? Does that say kittens and Bob Ross? What, 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 what? Let me see here, what the heck did she, oh my God. <laughs> Matt, you gotta come see this. You gotta come see this. Oh. My. Gosh. That's a shirt for Catter Day. I love it. Look, it's a cat, Bob Ross hair, paintbrush. Look at this, all the paints, and he's doing a beautiful work of art. Okay, Clara, you have outdone yourself. I Listen, I will wear this every day of the week and never take it off, all right? I'm gonna go live on this on Facebook. The next Facebook Live I do, oh my gosh, all right? If people don't already think I'm weird, they'll definitely know I'm out there now, right? <laughs> I love it so much! Thank you, Clara, I love it. Yes, you know me well, and yes, I do love the, uh, I love the unusual, because we are, we are the unusual, but I love the unusual cat, like, mm-hmm. That is awesome. Thank you so much. I will wear my socks proudly with my shirt. Christy, I know Christy watches me here on the YouTube channel, so I know she's definitely going to see me open this. It says on the back, Happy Mail. So I am excited to open this. Oh my goodness gracious. Do I have a, listen, even if I don't have a pair of scissors, I will rip it open. I can't wait to see what Christy has in here. Christy is one of our awesome banana bunch people. And she was raised by artists, okay? So she like, she got like art in her DNA, okay? She like, just her blood rushes paint and all things creative from Illinois. Let me see, girl, what you sent me today? Uh, I love it. 
look, she sent me a little penguin card. It says, let it snow. Sending warm holiday wishes your way. Merry Christmas. Aw, oh, she says, thank you for all the inspiration for the painting and the projects. And she'll continue to learn and perfect her craft. Girl, I've seen what you do. You already do a perfect job. I am so glad that we are friends and that you are a part of the Banana Bunch family, community, whatever you want to call it, because you're awesome. Oh my goodness. What? This is car fresheners. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Free spirit style and positive vibe fresheners to inspire people to give and live happy. Oh, what's it? This is a lemon one. Oh my goodness. And the ocean one. It has a mermaid, babe. And then it says, Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Isn't that a song? Sunshine. Is that a song? Shoulders makes me happy. No, I'm pretty sure that's, I sang that totally wrong. All right, is it a John Denver song? Is there a John, Matt, is there a John Denver song that sounds kind of like that? Sunshine on my shoulders. What's that song? Sunshine on my something. Oh my gosh. Oh, this smells so good. Do you smell it? Can you smell it? Like I'm like sending the smell to you, Christy. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if I put these in my car. I might have to hang them in my studio. And it smells so wonderful. And then she sent me, oh, look at this. Look at this. This beautiful paper designer paper to create cats and sparkles. Look at that. Polka dots. Oh my gosh. We're going to be doing some scrapbooking. And yes, yes, yes. I actually uh, just took some good video and good, some, some good pictures of my pets. Did you meet them on my last vlog? So this would be super cute to maybe uh, use some of these little pet ones uh, designs to put in there as well, but there's all kinds. Christy, I love you, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to um, the wonderful, wonderful, loving women that I have in my life. I appreciate you so much. So yesterday, I appreciated some good food on Christmas Day. As I was saying, we got to go over to Matt's dad's and uh, just have a good meal together over there. And I'm gonna show you real quick what we ate right now. The first off was some roasted Brussels sprouts, oil, salt, and pepper, and just baked them in a casserole dish in the oven. They came out absolutely wonderful. Next thing he did was do some brisket. The brisket was amazing. It was like a pre-cooked one, so all we had to do was heat it up and wait to go, and it had like a smoke flavor to it, and it was seasoned, and it was even pre-sliced, so all we had to do was just warm it up and then just kind of let all the slices fall out in a plate, and it was delicious. And then, as well with the smoked brisket, Matt made this delicious dish that he calls cheesy cauliflower. And um, since doing keto, which I've been doing keto now for about six months, I guess it is, around that time frame, that I have tasted a lot of like cheesy cauliflower. I've tried a lot of cauliflower dishes. But yesterday, Matt made this one in our kitchen, and I'm gonna show you a picture of it right now. And it was so good that I said, like, I could eat this day after day after day. And so today, we're gonna make it again the day after he made it yesterday on Christmas so that we can all enjoy it together, all right? So I'm going to take the camera off, head out to the kitchen, and he's working on it right now. Let's go join him. Hello, my little ketoites. Ketoites? Ketoites. Oh, he's got pet names for us now. Uh. What you doing? Yeah, what are you doing over here? So this is one whole head of cauliflower, okay. broken down, and I'm just going to salt, pepper, and oil it, and put it in a 500 degree oven. But first, people have been asking me uh, about keto friendly fruits, so I'm going to start pulling them out once in a while to show you. One of my personal favorite ones. Ooh, what'd you find? The Camarola. I have it cut in half because I ate most of it already. Okay. It's called a star fruit. At least you saved some to show us. Yeah. It's uh, called a oh, star fruit. It's yeah. It's called a star fruit if you're not in uh, familiar with it. Yeah. Because just cut it. Oh, it's so oh. pretty. Wait. It's like starfish. Yes. I so you love cut it. it. It's like a little star. <gasps> Look at that, guys. You want to taste it? Mermaids should definitely eat mm -hmm. star fruit. Want to taste it? Sure. Yeah, I'll taste it. It's like a. All right, let's see here. It How has would you describe it? the consistency and texture of a firm grape yeah and the flavor of a juicy apple okay let's give it a shot and see mm -hmm. do i eat the skin mm -hmm. you know oh my gosh it's good mm -hmm. 
That's really good. Yeah, it's super good for keto. Of course, you cut those out and they make pretty little uh, garnishes. garnishes. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Okay, thank you. Starfruit, camera mm -hmm. So now we've been distracted. We're just going to take this, salt this up. Now, I'm, I'm doing this for a reason, right? That I'm going to hit this with the oil, and you're like, well, why don't you wait to salt it uh, once you've got your oil? Because once I do this, I already have the salt dispersed where it's going to pick up with the oil and stick to the cauliflower in the general area. So that way you have an even salt coating, right? And all you do is just mix it up like this in its area and you get all the salt and you get all the pepper, happy flavors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then just into a 400 degree oven like so. Bam! In a pan we have a half stick of butter that's going to be the basis for a cheese sauce and we're going to go one pint of heavy whipping cream right here this is where it's going to take some patience because you don't want it to scorch so I go to about medium heat and let it slowly heat up and then I'm going to add a four state cheddar blend from Sargento which is Wisconsin sharp, New York sharp, California mild and Vermont sharp. I like the sharp cheddar cheeses because they impart a great flavor when they melt down. I also like a good Gruyere. Salt and pepper. Now while the cauliflower is roasting what's happened is it's part of the crucifer cruciferous vegetable family. Brussels sprouts, cabbage, broccoli, and the reason why it has kind of an off-putting smell, smell when you steam it or cook it is because it's very high in sulfur. Your body needs sulfur, but it's a very high content of sulfur. When you roast it, you convert some of that complex carbohydrates that the cauliflower has into a more stable form. It keeps that inside. So I find it helps me digestively with a lot less <clears throat> gas <laughs> once when I roast rather than when I steam. In the pot, we have heavy cream, one pint. We have half stick of butter. We have salt and pepper. Now the four state cheddar that I showed you earlier, we're just going to start working it in a little bit at a time. You want to bump the heat up to right below medium and just start moving around. You can't rush this step. If you rush it, you're going to scorch it. And then when you scorch it, it's going to taste like burnt scorchy cheese. You know what this needs? It needs a little kick. What you got there? Uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce or Tabasco or any kind of hot sauce or hot or whatever. Just mix it up a little bit. It just gives it the vinegar and the pecan just gives it that little bit of acidity that's usually missing in a milk product, right? So this is just waiting for the cauliflower. All right. This might be ready before I realized it. So we're going here. Hmm. Try one. Try a little one. It's hot. Just. So that's the magic of this stove that wants to run hot and cold and hot and cold. So I'm going to take my handy dandy casserole dish. Can he do it without losing any? So if you're not doing keto, you can you can put the breadcrumbs on top and do this like my gratin. Or one of my personal favorite things, put uh, french fried onion on top of it. So I am just going to stick this in the oven, uncovered, until it begins to brown. We just pulled out of the oven, and as you can see, it crisped. The cheese cooked down a little bit more. I could probably let this go a little bit, mix it up, and let it go down a little bit longer, get it really thick and crazy. 
but I like the cheese a little bit runny. And if you are having a hankering for crispies on top, you can put some shredded, very fine shredded cheese, like a parm or something like that. Sonia had a great idea, pork rinds. I didn't even think about that. And you have yourself a beautiful bowl. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. All right. My bowl of Christmas. You gonna, you gonna try it? Yeah, I sure Mmm. Oh yeah. Yep. So, good. I'm, I'm picking with my fingers because I can. Because we can. Guys, this is so good. I can't even put it down. I can't even put it down. Mm -mm -mm. Curious to know, would you add anything additional into yours? Like bacon or something like that? I don't know. Tell me what you're thinking below. Yesterday here on the vlog, I put up $20 in banana bucks to one lucky person. And I asked, what is that one thing that you have enjoyed this Christmas season? Like your holiday thing that you love, you look forward to, you get to indulge in. And our winner is Chris McNeil. Chris McNeil, come on down. You are the lovely winner of $20 in banana bucks. Now to claim them, all you have to make sure you do is to email me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com, put winner winner in the subject line, and do it within the next 24 hours as of this video being posted. Otherwise, poof, this offer turns into a pumpkin and disappears. You know how it works. McNeil messaged us and said, Merry Christmas, Sonia, Matt, Merry Christmas, girl, and everybody else. And she says her item that she's enjoyed this season has been banana cake. And I'm like, what is banana cake? Banana cake? Have you ever heard of banana cake, Matt? What's in banana cake? Bananas. That's bananas. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out exactly what this banana cake you speak of is and uh, go check that out. That might be a cheat day something to try coming up or can I make it keto friendly? I don't know. All right guys, thank you for tuning into this vlog. And of course the vlogging just continues here. So make sure you're checking back daily. Make sure you hit the bell so you never miss another upload that will be happening pretty much daily around these parts. And tomorrow I'm gonna share with you the greatest Christmas gift ever. Like when you see this gift that Matt gave me, you're gonna be like, Dang, that's pretty cute. I think I want I want a set of those as well. So I'm going to share with you what that is tomorrow and um, just make you smile because it's it's a gift that will make you smile. And let's just say it's a unforgettable kind of gift. So if I piqued your attention, you're going to want to tune back in tomorrow here in the vlog and see what's happening in a day in the life of the Joke Monkeys. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.